excuse me, allergies are really doing a number on my lungs these days, and anybody with asthma or emphysema, I really feel for you considering what it feels like out there. It is Thursday evening, just about 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Thanks for joining us. This is our live presentation of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime from News 12 in downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee. You can find out more from our forecast at WDEF.com slash weather. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. A quiet evening for tonight. Some thunderstorms possible into tomorrow. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. We'll also have your West Shore home weather window picture of the day, and we'll take a look and see what the almanac says for today as well. Looking into the weekend, we've got the Lyrid meteor shower coming up. And things look pretty good, all things considered. Not seeing a lot of problems out there, but we'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. And, of course, if you'd like to have one of our weather personnel visit your classroom, we'd love to be able to show up, but you have to invite us, and we'll show you a little bit more about that as well. From downtown Chattanooga, a little bit on the gritty side for tonight. We're not seeing, again, anything in the way of totally clear skies because of smoke and pollen and dust and haze and all of that mixed together out there so can just barely see the lights of lookout mountain up on the ridge and over the area of downtown usually a lot more clearer than this and for tonight we're getting again a little bit less in the way of that view even from our news 12 studio camera you can barely see some of the lights up on top of lookout mountain down toward broad street and decently quiet here traffic for tonight travel across the area no major problems being seen as we look toward lee point 64 and 50 153 highways no problems being seen again for people out and about for this evening and looking off towards 64 off in the distance very much on the quiet side for right now the rest of the evening again should be decently quiet looking back toward hunter road and tennessee 58 on the island cove marina and resort camera also showing again some very quiet numbers out there rest of the evening again it'll be cooling off but it is still very mild and very dry for tonight humidity back to about 34 percent winds have calmed down a little bit but they were very breezy earlier on and temperatures again back in the mid 70s this is actually where we should be for our high temperature at this time of the year. We're a little bit above board where it comes to those numbers out there. For today, we did manage to make 86, came within three degrees of a record high that hasn't been broken since 1891. So that's a pretty close call right there. Pretty close to where we should be on the normal low temperatures. We're behind for the month and the year. We could use some makeup rainfall because we're now about an inch behind for the month and over an inch behind for the entire year breezy today winds out of the south southwest mainly at about 31 miles per hour so very breezy out there but a very above normal day where it comes to our high temperatures out there so very much on the very above normal out there for this time of the year thanks to our latest respondent for the west shore home weather window picture of the day diana homer from dunlap around fredonia mountain taking a look at tom turkey wandering on through a little bit of flora and some green fauna back there in the background that's our west shore home weather window picture of the day and again looking for some quiet conditions across uh, much of the area for the rest of the night for those turkeys wandering through if you got pictures send them on to us at pictures at wdef.com and also drop them to us on our social media pages we'd love to have them on there as well taking a look into the next day or two we do see again the potential of clouds tomorrow morning and cool numbers back in the high 40s to lower 50s by tomorrow afternoon we may see the potential of a few showers or a few thunderstorms popping up no severe weather expected at this time the more powerful weather such as it is will be coming our way as we get into around friday evening and very early saturday morning but for right now again it doesn't look like a major severe weather setup so good news on that we clear things out matter of fact we should be getting rid of most of the clouds by early saturday morning and a few remnant clouds possible as we go into saturday afternoon but overnight looking toward early saturday late saturday night early saturday morning right about midnight we should be getting some clear skies and that's good news 
why we'll show that to you in just a little bit chilly for sunday morning and clear for the most part temperatures back into the mid upper 30s out there so a little bit on the brisk side as we go into the next couple of days so for the forecast again into the seven days we're going to be seeing the temperatures rather on the mild side for tomorrow back to about 80 degrees cooling off for saturday even cooler for sunday and staying on the brisk side not seeing a lot of warm conditions out there for the next few days temperatures will be just below normal for this time of the year back in the 60s rather than in the lower to mid 70s which is where we should be that heading off into the possibility of even more rainfall tuesday through thursday of next week not great chances but you saw the almanac page and we could definitely use the rainfall so that'll be our best bet there now from saturday night into sunday we should be looking at some decently clear skies here and that's very good news because as we get into saturday night sunday morning we'll be seeing the very good viewing conditions for the lyra meteor shower no major problems seen at this point if you'd like to be able to count up the meteors the scientists who count meteor shower uh, tally information could use your help if you'd like to be a little bit of a citizen scientist count up the meteors find out more from the american meteor society at amsmeteors.org and you can help science get go forward you don't need a phd to be a citizen scientist all you need is just the willingness to help out on that so again a good opportunity to see more there and of course if you'd like to have us visit your classroom all you have to do is go to our website to click on the weather in the classroom program sponsored by food city fill out the form you have to invite us we just don't show up places so again give us an idea as to what's going on number of class students number of classes we'll be talking to grade level uh, any specific targets, grade level expectation type things, let us know what you want us to talk about. More information, again, available from WDEF.com slash weather if you'd like to do a little bit more on there and invite us to your classroom. We'd, we'd be glad to show up, but again, you have to kind of give us an idea as to what's going on, where you are, who you are, and stuff like that. Chip Chapman will have all the details on your forecast bright and early on Friday morning, so stay tuned for details on that. You bring the coffee, we'll bring the news, the weather, the sports, and keep you updated on everything that's going on out there, so stay tuned for a lot more. That'll wrap it up for this edition of Weather Overtime for Thursday night. Downward slide into the weekend looking pretty good. Don't forget you can also find us on Twitter, Tumblr, all sorts of other locations as well, so give us an update as to, again, check it out where we are and we'll be on the internet there someplace for you to take a look at so stay tuned for more uh, with news 12 across the interwebs and of course online and on air as well i'm chief meteorologist austin onig you've been watching the latest edition of news 12's weather overtime video weather blog stay tuned for more with news 12 tonight at 11 and more coming up on friday as we get you safely into the weekend with your current forecast <laughs>